First, though, Jason Manford is here. He's preparing to tour the UK with his brand new comedy show, A Manford All Season. That's the one. That's the one. I put a dad joke in right at the top. <laughs> you I've just went for it. For yeah, it, yeah. for it, yeah. Well, Have you had a day off at all this year? Um, yeah, I've actually had a bit of time off because I did... Um, what did I do? I did uh, Jack and the Beanstalk over Christmas. And then I did... Wiz I did uh, what did I do? Oh, Waterloo Road. Uh -huh. Filmed that. Then we went into uh, Wizard of Oz for a couple of weeks in Manchester. But in between, yeah, I went to Thailand on holiday with the family. Oh, well, that's not bad. Went to, yeah, went to Portugal, went to New York with some mates. And OK, stuff like so that. You've, you've had yeah, a little more. breather ahead of a I big tour I often think again. people think we're busier than we are. Because, <laughs> you, you know, you record stuff all in one go and, yeah, then, it, and then it's just on all of a sudden. So, yeah, yeah it's, uh, but the tour all, it is... Gosh. <laughs> it's, it's a wall of you, That's Jason. Absolutely yeah. terrifying. It's like <laughs> some sort of cheese nightmare. <laughs> Oh well, the tour is, as I think you've described it as, a little bit of a break away from the normal life, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it is what I do, you know, for like for 25 years, I suppose. And um, and so I am used to it. You know, it's funny when you get, pe you'll get people saying, how do you do the same thing every night or every day? And I think, well, you do the same thing every day. Everybody <laughs> does the same thing every day. That's work. Yeah. That's going to work, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, you have to organise it well and, you know, and, and book it so far in advance so you can actually do nice journeys and go, mm. right, I'll do Sunderland and then Newcastle and, you know, up to Glasgow maybe, rather than going, I'll do Norwich and then the Isle of Man and, uh -huh, then, you know, that yeah. can happen. Hopefully that. Manchester. Manchester. The co-op live venue is <laughs> finally up and running. Yeah, it's funny, actually, because obviously Peter Kay was supposed to be the first act to play it and we spoke the other day about, and I'm playing it October 2025, and he said, he said, it'll be you first comic on by this. <laughs> At this rate, <laughs> so yeah, it'll be uh, hopefully it it'll be done by then. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But it is, just, and as you say, it's your natural environment. I think really being on stage and doing stand up, oh, yeah. it is something that you just naturally love. So it's part of you, really, at this stage. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like I said, I've done done it for a long time, and I, and what's really nice about it, it's, and it's so different to telly and radio and everything else, which is on telly. Like I'm on this show right now, and there's people at home watching this show, but I'm I'm in your living room. I'm going, I'm in. I'm forcing myself into your living room right now on television. And some people are happy with that and some people are like, oh, this guy. But on tour, everyone there already likes you. <laughs> I'd never thought of it like that. You know what I mean? They've already made the journey. They've gone through the rigmarole. Yeah, they know what they're hopefully getting. Yeah. It's, yes. So, and now, you know, there was definitely a point in my career where you try and sell your tour and say, come along, it's going to be amazing. And now I go, now I'm in my 40s, I say, you know what? Have you liked me before? You'll like it yeah. again. Did you not like me before? You won't. It's very I'm not going to win you over now <laughs> at 43. Well, you might. You no, might. I think, but... I, think it's, I think it's past. I've got <laughs> you... the people I like and they like me and that, I'm yeah, fine with that. You've got your tribe at yeah, this I don't point. Mind That's that. fair enough. You mentioned Waterloo Road. <laughs> yes. I'm going to see you in Waterloo Road. Yeah. You're a new head teacher, I believe. Mary, I'm there. Yes. With the big hair in the middle and the suit. Um, very, very teacher like. I didn't know yeah. you wanted to be a teacher. Well, do you know when I mean, you're we all do a little bit at yeah, this because kids, it's don't the only we? job you've ever seen yeah. close up, isn't it? When you're a kid, so you go, oh yeah, and then you get the odd bad teacher, and you think, well, I could do that. <laughs> um, but I had some brilliant teachers and teachers who inspired me to do what I do now. Mm. You know, in in their own way. Obviously, they didn't know that's what was going to happen. Um, you know, I remember Miss Cooper, Jude Cooper, an English teacher who. Um, I was in trouble telling a daft story at the back of the class and uh, she made me, t she was like, did the classic, do you want to share that with everybody? I said, yeah, I do. <laughs> The well, worst thing you could say to me. <laughs> that was the beginning. Yeah. She didn't even realise. No, but she was so like I think she saw something and 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 really inspired me to to do that. And actually, when I eventually went to Edinburgh and, not, and got nominated for oh there I am. Oh, oh gosh, look How, at that. What kind face. of a pupil were you then? You were the general kind of the joker, even at that point. You... Yeah, I was just a. I just I loved laughter, and I lo we we were you know got an Irish family at home and. So there's loads of laughter and banter and ribbing and all that happening all the time. And so just, that just came into school with me, really. Mm. And, and it was such a laugh. I mean, thing, <laughs> I was thinking about this yesterday, actually. I'm sort of writing the tour at the moment. And, um, and I remember, like, there's things that we did, uh, you know, and the way, even the way the adults treated us as kids. Like, now you'd be, like, you'd be in trouble. You know, like, I remember there was a point where I'd be crying about something. And my uncle got his guitar out to see if he could play along to my... <laughs> He's going, din, 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 din. <laughs> like, you wouldn't get away with that now. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'd be cancelled. But there was just something about like that environment of just having to like join in and have a yeah, laugh. And, yeah. Um, and it did, you know, sort of made you stronger. But um, 
But Waterloo Road certainly makes you appreciate a teacher in a different light, oh doesn't goodness. it? Even, albeit acting the role, but it's... I mean, even just acting, it was hard enough. Mm. It was, it's... But I mean, I was the head teacher as well. And yeah. they, um, and, 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 and as part of the character, you know, he even says at one point, look, I'm aware that I'm not a, I'm not a teacher. You know, I'm, I've just got to manage all these things so you can teach and do what you're great at. But it's a brilliant show. Yeah. And it's, and it's um, so long running now. Everybody yeah, it felt it, really it? special to be part of it, actually. Yeah. And, um, uh, and, to, and to be the head teacher as well, to go in and, and do that. And, it, and, and the storyline is really good. Like, uh -huh. it, I think it'll take people on a journey and they'll be quite surprised, quite Very shocked. Good. Yeah. Right, well, that's all coming up, as is Soccer Aid. Yes, of course. Oh, my goodness. I know, against Frank. Against Frank, I because know. I assumed you'd be on his team, but you're not. You're playing no, on that, the other side. that Irish passport. You're using the Irish passport. I'm using it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to it? Are you training? Are you going I'm to take I'm training it at the moment. I mean, it might not look like it right now, but, uh, yeah, no, I am training, and and um, it's, it's great to have something to aim at, you know when you pop it in the diary, because you think, right, I've got... But it does suddenly... You go, right, I've got 12 weeks. Right, I've got five weeks. <laughs> what can I do in three and a half weeks? You know, <laughs> yeah. uh, That happens quite a lot. But, yeah, it's nice. You pl I'm playing a bit of football and, and... I mean, you only get about 20 minutes on the pitch anyway, you know? Yeah. So it's not like you've got to think, how can I last I know, minutes? but there's, there's a lot of eyes on you, albeit a bit of fun and it's for a good cause and everything yeah. else, but you can't help but feel the, the seriousness of it on, absolutely, in the Absolutely, absolutely. And there are people who take it really seriously as well. And it's very rarely the professionals. Like, mm. the professional footballers are like, oh, this will be fun. This will be fun, I'll yeah. see if I can nutmeg Lee Mack and, uh, you know... And <laughs> <laughs> have a bit of fun, slot, you know, do top bins against Paddy McGuinness. But um, it's no, it's the it's the celebs. You get some of them who are thinking, "This you is know my what? moment." If somebody spots me now. This could be it. You can see it on their faces. Yeah, can't exactly. You? I Whereas know. I'm not thinking that. Obviously, <laughs> even if I was a professional, I'd have been retired for five years now. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about that. You're there for the fun yeah. and what it all means. It's yeah, it's, it is lovely to do something that's so much fun uh, and uh, and also for UNICEF and, and, and know that it's. For a good cause. Of so. course, of course. Yeah. Well, Jason, like I say, you're the busiest man, albeit a few holidays thrown in for good Yeah, measure. well, we don't start but till September. September so, it is. Yeah. It's um, a Manford all season. Come along. Um, starts in September, as you say, you're all over the country. I'm so. everywhere. You're I'm everywhere. everywhere. Come and, come okay. And see us. Jason, thank you. Thank Lovely, you. Lovely, as always. It's so Ian, nice. Exactly. You need to, it needs to say Christine on there, some tits. Some well, then, you know I mean? no, I've got news. This is nice, though. Or just like a little but, asterisk. A little, <laughs> a little asterisk. Yeah. <laughs>